I'm so very grateful because I could fulfill an old dream of mine, floating as a hot air balloon over the Loire Valley. For this, we hired a perfect house in the middle of old Tour. And from there, the adventure began. Five o'clock in the morning, we set off to be there for the sunrise, climbing into the basket. 16 people, nobody disturbing anybody, rising up, rising up slowly, but surely to admire what's below. We were able to see quite far, and it was truly wonderful. Le Montgolfier was the name of this very experienced tour guides. Lithuanians, they knew what they were doing. I loved it and so did everybody else. In the distance, the marvelous castle of Shiros. We were just lucky. The wind helped to make us float just where you really wanted to be. Wonderful being able to tick something like that for my bucket list. Here everybody was helping to collapse a huge balloon into a little bundle. And in the end the ladies were invited to go and sit on it to help it collapse even more. Then we shared some goodies and a bit later we went to another very impressive, big castle. Enjoy yourself whilst you still in your pink. That's what my mother would have sang on this occasion, seeing all the pink flowers. There were lots of quite beautiful sculptures in this big park. The interior of the castle was a lot less impressive than the outside. <laughs> Charming Japanese garden. We are very happy and then at the end relaxing in our garden and of course having some bubbles before going out for a perfect dinner in a local restaurant. It was delicious. Also appreciating the home that Chip found for us couldn't have been better. Then another day visiting the beautiful castle of Villandry with its very atmospheric park and absolutely charming interior. It didn't feel so grand. It felt almost cozy. The gardens, highly impressive, a bit regimented perhaps, everything symmetrical, hugely clever and just amazing what, what man can make. Again, relaxing in our beautiful pool, as it was pretty warm. One day we simply stayed in, in Tour to enjoy the little old town with its piazzas, 
it's pleasant atmosphere, a good mix of students and tourists, old history, great food, and some original things to buy. Beautiful churches, the river, always nice to see this Loire, the local castle, and I wear my happy hat for the aperitif, and why not? Chip made a lovely dinner together with Samuel, so it was nice to enjoy being home one evening, and another great day out to Blois. Samuel had to drive us in his little Citroën because Joseph brought his sports car where five people wouldn't fit in. Here, yeah, something a little bit unusual in the Maison de la Magie in Blois. I'm just so grateful for every day, every moment that we share there, including some wonderful food. Food to see and food to taste. I love those elegant lampposts. One lunch we had some brilliant crepes. Charm, charmingly served. Another lunch we had Lebanese. A visit to Saumur was also very interesting. It was really very hot though. And we had to be a little bit careful with our energy. Luckily, we discovered that so outside Sumur there was something interesting, especially Ba wanted to see it. After a great lunch, we felt strengthened to go to find the Mushroom Museum. Only the girls went in, the men did something outside. But I found it fascinating, the colors, the shapes, wondrous. quite unique. And there another bottle of bubbly was opened before our very last dinner. This time it was a little bit drizzly, but we really enjoyed that last supper consisting of uh, not the planned fare, but a very, very good meal from Kabuli specialities. And you can see, he really had fun. So I'm very grateful to everybody who helped make this possible. <laughs>